Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Gujarati undiu. It's a very, very classic dish uh, from Gujarat and um, uh, made differently in every home. And this is a surti undiu which I'm going to show you, which has a multiple steps and processes that you have to do to make the dish come to life. One of the most important things in the undiu is, of course, the masala that goes into the sabzi and also the mutias which add to the delicious taste of the undiu. And over the years, I've you know spoken to many Gujaratis and many Gujarati families coming from various regions of Gujarat, and each one of them have sort of altered the recipe to the taste which their family likes, and uh, and also made it healthier as well. And likewise, I've done the same because at home this is how we make the undio, really simple to make, and of course it's done with a lot of seasonal vegetables and also root vegetables. I'm going to take you through all the different vegetables that are used traditionally and what you can sort of. Make um, if you don't get them uh, readily available. Most important thing is the spice flavors of the masala that goes into it as well as the mutias which brings out the delicious taste of the undio. So let's just dive right in and I'll show you how to make the undio uh, my style which my family has been making it for many years. So let's just get started. So the first step to making the undio is to make the masala for the undio and that's extremely simple. So I have some ginger, uh, green chilies and garlic. I have some freshly grated coconut, lots of coriander leaves, lemon, sesame seeds, which is thil, freshly roasted coriander powder, which is essentially I roasted the coriander seeds and powdered them, salt, sugar, uh, red chili powder, and uh, a pinch of turmeric. So now I'm going to grind all of them together into a mixer grinder to make the masala. So into my grinder, I'm going to go ahead and add in the coconut, the green chilies, ginger, and garlic and some chopped coriander leaves. We'll first blend these together uh, by adding just a little bit water and then add in the remaining masalas. So now that they're just about combined, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the uh, till seeds, which is the sesame adds in a delicious taste to the masala. Roasted coriander powder, extremely important to freshly roast the coriander seeds and add them. A pinch of red chili powder, a little bit of turmeric. Salt and sugar, okay. And then finally, we're gonna add in some lemon juice. Go ahead and add in just a little bit more water and blend to make a nice smooth masala. Now that looks absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to keep this to the side and then show you how to stuff up a few vegetables and then put the entire undio together. So let's talk about the vegetables that go into undio. Um, here I have with me uh, flat beans, uh, which is typically you have to use a surti papadi, but this is valor or a navre kalu as they call it in the south. So any type of flat beans will work, but because uh, it's region specific. And then I have some raw bananas that I have peeled and sliced and uh, soaked it in water. And this is yam, uh, which is regular yam, uh, also known as a suran, which I've soaked it in water. You can cut it into big chunks or small, um, but I've cut it into small chunks because, you know, it's easier to sort of put them all together and cook it and then so I have some baby potatoes uh, which I've just peeled and I have some small bangan. First thing I'm going to go ahead and slit the bangan into um, four from the top so that's how you slit it and ensure that there are no worms and it's completely clean okay and um, go ahead and slit it into four and if some of the bangan is spoiled we'll just remove them and just you know let them be as a wedge okay that's good this looks clean and that looks clean and this looks clean as well fantastic so i'm going to go ahead and um, also lightly um, cut the baby potatoes from the top Next step is to take a small portion of the stuffing 
and place it inside um, the slits that we made in the bangan. Okay, just put a little bit of stuffing inside. And this is so that the bangan gets beautiful taste and the flavors to seep into the inside of the bangan. Okay, so this is good. Okay, so now that we have stuffed, stuffed the bangan, we're gonna go ahead and stuff our baby potatoes as well. So that's easy. Just have to smear it around inside and just allow it to just go inside just a bit. And there you go. Slide it and push the masala inside. Great, so now that all the vegetables are stuffed, I'm going to show you how to cook the undio all together into a pressure cooker by layering the vegetables along with the masala, extra masala that we have, and then make the undio. So let's just get started with the next steps. So to make the undio healthier, we're going to be cooking it into the pressure cooker, and um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of ghee to the bottom of the pan, and ghee brings in a delicious taste. You can also add oil um, to the undio, and ghee is really nice, so just give ghee a try. And then to this, add in the ajwain seeds. We'll just give it a stir until the flavors of ajwain get well uh, incorporated and you can start smelling the flavors of ajwain and then it's, it starts crackling a little bit in the ghee, okay? So this is good. To this, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our stuffed vegetables to the bottom of the pan. And now I'm going to be adding just a little more of the masala to the top of these vegetables and then we're going to be layering all the vegetables one by one along with the masala. Okay. So we'll add in the raw bananas which are sliced. And then the yam. Gonna add in a layer of the green masala now to the center, okay? At this stage, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of salt so the other vegetables also get a little bit of salt, okay? And now finally, the green papri or the valor flat beans. And we will now add the remaining masala on the top and just mix it along with the papri. Finally add about half a cup of water, so we'll just cover the pressure cooker and uh, cook it for about four to five whistles or five to six whistles and then turn the heat to low for another two to three minutes and then turn off the heat. So while the hundio is cooking in the pressure cooker, I'm going to go ahead and make the mutias. We're going to be pan frying the mutias in a curry panyaram pan, I'll show you that in just a bit. So add in some basin, some chopped methi leaves for the mutia and um, hing, Eno's fruit salt. You can also add a pinch of soda if you don't have the fruit salt. And uh, we're gonna add some salt, sugar, red chili powder, turmeric powder. So we'll add in some lemon. Just give it a mix. Add just a little bit of water and make it a nice firm dough, okay? Just a little bit more oil, which is about um, a teaspoon. Great, so now just combine all of them together and we'll make a dough. And after that, we will shape them into small balls and then pan fry them. You can either steam it, pan fry it like in the curry panyaram pan, also deep fry the mutias. Any, you can cook it any which way that you want, okay? But I'm gonna show you the panyaram method because it's um, simple and it's healthy as well. Okay, so now that the dough has come together, we'll just grease our fingers with a little bit of oil. 
and shape the mutias into uh, small oval balls, okay? And um, they're completely your choice of how you'd like to shape them. It can be round balls, it can be oval balls, but um, anything works, okay? And we're just going to go ahead and make these into small balls so they fit into the paniaram pan. And you can also deep fry them, as I said, or you can even put them in a steamer and then steam it. So now that we've shaped our mutias, this is a paniaram pan. Go ahead and add in a little bit of oil into the cavities and place the shaped mutias into the pan and then pan fry them until they become nice golden and crisp on all the sides. We'll drizzle a little bit more oil on the top and just flip them over and keep cooking until the mutias are nice and crisp and browned on all the sides. So notice that the mutias are perfectly roasted on all the sides. At this stage I'm just going to go ahead and drain them out of the oil. Very little oil is used. Notice it's just beautiful. That's the advantage of cooking in a paniaram pan. So that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and fry my remaining mutias. And um, once my undio is ready, we just have to toss all of them together. So after about uh, five to six whistles and, um, and simmering for about three to four minutes, I turned off the heat. The pressure is released completely. I'm ready to open the pressure cooker. And that's beautiful. And that looks perfect. And I'm not going to uh, stir it too much right now because I'm going to transfer it to a pan and then cook it along with the mutia. So we'll just wait. We'll add some ghee, just a little bit. And to this, I'm going to go ahead and add in the cooked undio. And that's beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and add in the mutias. And this is going to add to the taste. At this stage, you know, you can adjust the thickness of your undio by adding water. And the mutias also absorb a little bit of water. So that um, we're going to now simmer the undio along with the mutias for about five minutes. And then the undio would be ready. I'm going to go ahead and cover the pan and then simmer it for a good five minutes and it'll be done. So the undio has been simmering for a good five minutes and I can notice that the mutias are nice and soft and it's just perfect. At this stage, I'm going to turn off the heat, give it a taste, you know, if you need to add a little bit of more salt, if you like it, it'll be more chakpata, then add a little bit of more, maybe uh, some more sugar and garam masala, maybe if you would like, and uh, even some ghee to top it off if you'd like. And a lot of people do add some tadka as well. So you could add like an ajwain and a ghee tadka or a red chili tadka with hing, and that'll be really nice. That's it. So I'm just going to go ahead and serve it and ready to have them along with some hot fulkas and sometimes even some puran poli and some curry. So I really hope you enjoyed watching the recipe of how to make the Gujarati undio. Wasn't it really simple? Uh, packed with flavors from all the spices from coconut, coriander, and the ajwain and the hing tadka, which brings out the delicious flavors. And of course, the mutia, which gets seeped into the masala and absorbs all the flavors, makes it really delicious. Yes, this is a pressure cooker method, uses less oil, um, it's healthy, and it's absolutely tasty. You can serve the undios along with hot fulkas and serve it along with some Gujarati kadi or a Gujarati dal and, um, and also maybe side it up with some Shrikhand as a sweet. So do give this recipe a try and when you, do, when you do, don't forget to take a snapshot of it and tag us across all our social channels and we'll love to hear from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.